Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about strings in Python and some common string functions that you'll uh, end up using uh, to solve the coder byte challenges. So to declare a string, it's really easy in Python. We just assign a string to a variable. So string hello world, I am coding. So this is a string, and now we can access parts of the string really easily by um, treating a string just as we would uh, a list. So we have string, and now if we want to get the first from, so the way you would do this is you have a start position, end, and step. So you start from a spe specific index in the string, you end at an index, and how you want to step. So step uh, is, if it's one, it'll step through every character, two, it'll step through every second character, and so on. So let's just say we wanted from the fifth character all the way to the tenth, and we want to step by one. So if we print this we'll get a part of the middle of the string and we get world. So if we increase these to 11, we get world and we increase this to six, we get rid of the space. So now we have world. So now if we do two, it'll print every other character in world and we get WRD. Uh, you can also get, you can also loop through the, uh, the string backwards by not specifying a beginning and ending index and just saying negative one. So this prints the string in reverse order. So this is actually a really simple solution to the first challenge on CoderByte, uh, reversing a string. You simply just need to return this, this line of code. Uh, if you wanted to step through every other character backwards, you would do this, and so on. Uh, so that's list uh, string indexing. So you can get the length of a string by using the length function, which is really easy. So print the length of a string, 23 characters. Uh, let's go over some functions that could be useful now. So you have some functions like is digit, <clears throat> sorry, is digit. So uh, let's just say we get string. It'll give it. Whoops. Oh, you have to do print string is digit, and now it'll give us false because this is not a digit. But if we have uh, num equals fifty, so this is actually a string. But if we use it on if we call the is digit function on the string we get true but if we have something like 50 g then we get false um, there are some other functions like instead of using is digit you can use is numeric which is really similar um, so now really another really useful um, function is the find function so let's just say we're looking for look for Mars. So we want to see if the string look for exists in string. So you would just you would simply do string find look for. And we get negative one. So negative one means it's not it doesn't exist in the string. If we were looking for world in the string hello world I am coding, it returns six, which is the position of the that this word starts in the string, which is the sixth position. So now let's just say we wanted to get a specific part of the string. Um, so if we wanted to, for example, get I am coding. So wherever we see the word I, we want to get everything after that. So that's really easy to do if we combine these two concepts we just covered. So if we do string find I, we get 12. So this means that I occurs in the, tw in the 12th position in the string. So if we want to get everything from here on, we can just use indexing, so string, so this is the beginning index, and if we don't, spec if we don't specify a number for the end and we just put a colon, it'll print everything from the position all the way to the end, so we get I am coding. And we can specify an ending index, we could do something like 14, and it only prints I, we could do something like 18, I am C, and so on. So this is combining two common string functions to print a part of a string. Uh, there are also some other really cool functions like print string title, and this will capitalize the first character in each word. Hello world, I am coding. So this is also really uh, another really useful function you can use to solve one of the coder byte challenges. I believe uh, that's letter capitalized that challenge. So instead of looping through the string, separating the string into words and capitalizing each first character, you can just call the isTitle function. Or sorry, you can call the title function. There's also another function, isTitle, and this returns true or false whether 
the string follows the pattern um, as before if every char if every first character is capitalized. So this will return false. Um, so you can also split a string into a list, which is really helpful. So you can do list string, and this returns the string split into um, a list of characters. You also have something like print string upper, and this will capitalize each character in the string. So you get hello world, I am coding. And then you can check is this so to check if it's upper, you also have is upper false. So we can do something like string equals string upper, and then print string is upper, and now we get true. Um, you also have another cool function which will help you for a coder by challenge, and that's string swap case. So it'll swap the case of each character, so you get this. So this is another one-line solution for one of the coder by challenges, uh, because Python's really helpful with, um, with the functions they provide for string and math libraries. So in the next tutorial, I'll list a lot of the common string and character functions that um, can be useful to solve the coder by challenges.